Hello! In this tutorial I will show you how to wrap an image around an object in GIMP 2.8. The initial idea for this tutorial came from Gavin Howey. He made it for Photoshop and there were people asking how it can be made in GIMP. So I decided to make this tutorial for them. The link to the original video is in my video description, so feel free to check it out. I'm going to work with two images. One is the image of my hand and another one is a USA flag. I have previously cut the hand out of the background to not to waste time of, on this video. This is just an ordinary photo of my hand without any post-processing, apart from removing the background, of course. And the second image is the USA flag, which I made in GIMP. Ok, let's get started. First we need to create a displacement map. So duplicate the hand layer. Desaturate this new layer. You can find this option under Colors – Desaturate. Next I'm going to increase contrast of this layer, so I'm going to use levels for this. Displacement filter works much better when the image has a lot of blacks and a lot of whites. So I'm going to just to play with sliders until I feel happy with the result. Something like this I think should do. Next go to Blah, Gaussian Blah and choose 5 pixels for this. It should be blurred but not too much. Ok, our displacement map is ready to be used. Now I'm going to select my background layer and duplicate it. And I'm going to move this up just below the displacement map image. Select the layer with displacement map, go to layer, layer to image size. This is very important. Select the layer with the flag just below the displacement map, go to filters, map, displays. As you see, our flag becomes uneven and this is the effect we are after. For the size of my image, I am choosing the 13 pixel size for the X and Y displacement. For displacement mode is Cartesian and for the edge behavior is Smear. Now I'm going to delete the displacement map layer because we don't need this anymore. Next select the layer with hand, right click with your mouse, alpha to selection. Select the top layer with flag, right click, add layer mask. Choose option selection and press add. Select select none. Select the layer with hand and duplicate it. Choose the bottom layer with hand and desaturate it. Select the top layer with hand and move it to the very top of all layers. Switch this layer off for now by using eye icon. Select the layer with layer mask, set it to grain merge to about 75% opacity. Now 
make sure that flag is selected, not the layer mask. Go to Filters, Blah, Gaussian Blah. Choose three pixels here. This step needed to be done to make it to look more realistic on the hand. Select the top layer with hand, switch it on using the eye icon, set it to grain merge to about 70% opacity. We need to add more contrast to the hand, so select the layer with the desaturated hand and using the levels darken this layer a bit. Now I feel like I need to play a bit with the top layer with hand because I don't quite like the effect. So let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'm going to do a few more things with the hand because um, the contrast is not very impressive. So let's do it. Okay, I'm duplicating the top layer with hand and going to desaturate it a bit. I'm setting this layer to normal and to a very low opacity, about 15%. Let's have a closer look at this. Okay, that I guess looks better. Another thing which I don't like is the bright spot on my thumb, so I'm going to get rid of it now. So now I'm going to duplicate the layer with hand, the color layer, then move it to the very top, set it to normal and add uh, a layer mask, black, full transparency. And then just paint over with soft brush and white color to bring back some detail to my thumb. I think like this it looks a bit better. Now I'm going to merge all the layers apart from the background layer with flag. I'm switching off the layer with flag, then going to image, merge visible layers. We have only two layers now to work with. I want to add some vignette to the flag, so I'm going to select this layer, then create a new transparent layer. Then I'm going to Tools, GEGL Operation and choosing Vignette at the bottom of the list. In this case I want to have quite strong vignette because I'm going to set it to grain merge. So this is at the settings. As I said, I'm setting this layer to grain merge now. Oops, some little mistake, but now we are on grain merge. I'm switching off the layer with hand 
and then going to image merge visible as. Keeping the selection on the background layer with flag, I'm going to blur it for effect of separation of the hand from the background. I'm using the Gaussian blur here with blur radius for 25 pixels. Yeah, this definitely made the trick. Now hand looks separated from the background. Now I want to sharpen the hand, so I'm going to Filters, Enhance, Unsharp Mask. I'm using the low settings here, radius 1.2, amount 0.23, threshold 4. This way hand looks better and last thing I want to do is to use levels to add a bit more contrast. This is it, time to flatten our image, go to image, flatten image. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe even learned something new. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe!